A bittersweet ending for a small Dartmouth family business today. George's Shoe Repair opened in May of 1966 in what was once the Kmart Mall. In their 39 years in business, they have made much more than a living. As Global's Martha Cody saw today, they made many loyal friends. It's very emotional, like, you know. Certain is going to leave a, a big hole in the hearts. You know, Mimi Rapinakis is talking about like, the end of the know, business everybody. she and her husband George have run for almost 40 years. George's Shoe Repair. And of course if you buy a pair of shoes that uh, you pay $30, $40, you're not, you don't want to pay another $30 or $40, $35 to repair, right? You buy a new one. I saw the work one hour, pull a picture, one pair of shoes, have to make $10. Thank you for all the business. Thank you. We're going to miss you. What provided a living was also a way of life. Good customers became good friends. George was always very accommodating, actually too accommodating at times. He wouldn't even charge you because <laughs> when we got to know him really well, he was that kind of a guy. Congratulations on your retirement. Thank you very much, Jamie. Jamie Hartling stops by. He has a leather business today because of the Rappanakis' encouragement 20 years ago. Drive down after school on my bicycle and park it out in the hallway and I'd come into the shop and, and George and Mimi that show me how to do different things in leather. And Clark's Barbering has operated near George's shop from the beginning. George Watton says the couple's generosity created the business. That's the old, the old method and that's the way we were brought up more or less and that's the way it was. And that's where you get friends and you know, word of mouth. George, thank you very, very much. It's nice to have this with you. In Dartmouth, this is Global's Martha Cody reporting.